Tommy Laren is not known for being bright, which makes it fascinating when you hear her go after someone like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, the youngest person elected to Congress in history for not being accomplished enough to hold that position. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't wanna put words in her mouth. I wanna have you hear what she has to say about AOC. And then we're gonna, what are we gonna do, Jake? We're gonna- We're gonna dunk, dunk on, on her. her. <laughs> dunk on her. Okay. Oh, I like your dunk better. I was mm -hmm. just dunking like a donut or something. No, no, I like like <laughs> dunking like I'm playing basketball. Oh, I see. okay, yeah. all right, we can okay. do that. Okay, let's watch. There's a difference between being successful on Twitter and social media like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and being relatable on social media platforms and actually being successful in real life. But listen, the American people, we don't want a handout. We want the government's hand off. We want the ability to achieve the American dream in a safe and secure nation. And this crop of Democrats offer none of those things. Being accomplished in real life. Mm. So how how much more accomplished do you want her to be? Youngest woman ever elected to Congress. Do you want her to be the youngest woman senator? She literally couldn't be president. She doesn't meet the age requirement. I, did you want her on the Supreme Court? <laughs> what else? And by the way, Tommy, what have you been up to? Right. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, that's successful. A I mean, you great me? point. That's a great point. Now, look, <laughs> it's not very progressive to get personal. But I'm gonna get personal. So let's uh, let's just quickly go to graphic 38. My favorite thing to talk about is um, the tweets that are the tweets that Tommy Lahren deleted after she became a public figure and pretended like she was some self-righteous conservative. Um, one of my favorite one of my favorites included this graphic 38, where she says, "Doesn't matter to me as long as I can a drink, b pop that p." Huh. Hmm. I wonder what that P refers to. Hmm. Okay. okay, lots well. of fun. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you can delete your tweets, but they will exist forever. We all know that. Yes. Now, uh, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez has dealt with this type of treatment before. In fact, recently she responded to someone on Twitter who accused her of not having, you know, much of a record or any experience, being nothing more than a bartender. And here's her response. This bartender has served in a Senate casework office, organized and educated thousands of young people, earned relevant degrees with honors, worked on field campaigns, and the only reason I wasn't told to run for city council was because I was consistently told not to run at all. So the person had said, "Oh, you know, why did this bartender run for city council or something else and work her way up?" But she won a congressional seat, so. What, I don't know what you're complaining about. No, but but more importantly, like, do you not understand how elections work, right? So, she didn't get appointed to that position. She didn't have a family member who appointed her to that position. Okay, she was elected by the people in her district. So, if you have a any beef, you know, to hash out, maybe talk to some of those voters and, and get an understanding for why they voted for her. And so, two quick things about that original tweet. One is the huge disdain for the working class. Mm -hmm. This bartender, right? Don't you know that politics is for the elite? And and you know she pretty much went broke running, as a lot of the just Democrats did, because in most of the states you can't take a salary, and they weren't rich to begin with. They they didn't have any money, so. Instead of saying, isn't that amazing, the sacrifice that was, an actual sacrifice. A lot of times politicians talk about, I sacrificed for this because I know you did, you made millions upon millions of dollars. We don't about sacrifice. She actually did make a sacrifice to run and uh, and they go, <laughs> bartender, right? And then the other part is, uh, hey, why don't you go back to city council, etc. Why? Because you don't want change. You want everybody to wait their turn and wait and wait and wait. And so, no, we're not for the tranquilizing drug of gradualism. We're for the fierce urgency of now, and so are her voters. Uh, but now, to Tommy Lahren to come back around, uh, I mean, I don't know what she's ever done in her life uh, yeah, other I mean, than say outrageously racist, bigoted, etc. stuff to grab enough attention. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, to get onto Fox News and other conservative outlets, uh, and for her to try to say that Ocasio Cortez is not accomplished enough is hilarious. And even if you bought into that nonsense that she hasn't done much in her life, which is a complete and utter lie, look at what she's doing now. I mean, she is changing the discourse in the country. People are now focusing on 
raising tax rates for the wealthy, but very specifically, increasing the top marginal tax rate. Honestly, if you had asked me just three months ago, you think the country's ever gonna have a discussion or a debate about doing that? I'd be like, no, there's no way. Like no one even no one even knows what the top marginal tax rate is. I mean, of course people know, but it's not something that's a regular discussion that people have. And now certainly all of a sudden, not in Washington. Exactly. And now all of a sudden we're having a conversation about it, and it's fantastic. What kind of conversation has Tommy Lahren led in this country? That moved policy, are you kidding me? So by the way, Jamie Dimon, CEO of JP Morgan Chase said that he agrees that they need to move the marginal tax rate. He got the CEO of JP Morgan Chase to agree that they should move the marginal tax rate up. What have you done, Tommy? What have you done? Nothing. So, and by the way, the Just Democrats picked her. Uh, they didn't mind that she was brought. They, there was, if you don't know how this works, uh, and they're doing it now. So go to justdemocrats.com slash nominate, okay? Because that's how uh, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez wound up running for office. She was nominated. So Just Democrats uh, leaders, uh, former founders, me, Shoykat, uh, Shoykat is now her chief of staff, but their current leaders came on the Young Turks and explained how uh, uh, that Alexandria Ocasio Cortez to, came to run in that race. They found her through that nomination process. There's this wonderful story. It's actually her brother who nominated her, okay? And when they looked to see uh, and, and, and why they picked her above everyone else was because that record of service. They look for a record of service and understanding the issues. And that's why they picked her, because she already had a great record. By the way, I'm telling you right now, go to justdemocrats.com slash nominate. Nominate people that have that similar record of service in your community. There's a good chance they will be picked, and they could be the next Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and drive Tommy Lahren and Fox News even more crazy, right? And move the conversation even further in the direction that the American people actually agree with. When she talks about the marginal tax rate, even a Fox News poll said 70% of Americans agree that it should go up. Last point, Lauren there said, oh, just being big on social media doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean you have any real life accomplishments. So I'm gonna read a tweet from Donald Trump for you guys. Only the fake news media and Trump enemies want me to stop using social media. 110 million people, only way for me to get the truth out. It's one of dozens of times that he has bragged about his Twitter followers and social media followers. So I guess since he's saying the only people that complain about social media are fake news people, Tommy News, uh, Tommy, Tommy Fake News Lauren. <laughs> okay, apparently he thinks you're fake news. And that goes to the hypocrisy yeah. of these guys. When Donald Trump uh, brags about his social media all the time, they're like, bravo, way to get around the uh, fake news and just go directly to the people when Ocasio-Cortez does it. No real life accomplishments. Yes, your uh, BS is showing. On the go, don't worry, we got you covered. You can still listen to TYT at our new podcast network. Find us on Apple Podcasts, the Google Play Store, or at tyt.com slash podcast.